what a start Inside out and upside down No stress, I'ma clean up this mess La Hello everyone, thanks for coming back to spend some time with me It's Lee here from Lee's Art Studio So it's Marguerite Miller time So we're up to week 18 And the prompt is Find a special photo that can serve as the focus of your collage. Look for additional papers that can enhance what you see in the photo. And just recently I was looking through this book, it's about Australia. And it's a history and photo photos that goes up to about uh, late 20th, 20th century I suppose. But um, one of the photos that really stood out to me was of this lady, where is she? Somewhere in here, this lady here. And her name is Mary Nye, and she was, I'll read, well I'll read out what it says. Convictism ruined this woman's life, and many thousands besides. She is Mary Nye, once happily married in England to a farm labourer. Her husband, walking home after work, found a hen's egg by the roadside and took it home. A neighbour reported the incident to the magistrates. Nye was sentenced to seven years transportation for having an egg in his possession for which he was unable to satisfactorily account. Determined to follow her husband, Mary Nye committed a trifling offence and was also shipped to Van Diemen's Land, which was Tasmania, but her husband had disappeared into the interior. She never saw him again. And how sad is that? And I thought that's a story of true love that she actually committed a small crime so she would get sent to Australia as punishment so she could be with her husband who all he had done was pick up an egg from the side of the road. Times were tough. They're tough now for some people but wow times were really tough back then. Anyway, I went through the book because I was looking then inspired to find by this prompt, inspired by this prompt, to look for pictures of strong women or you know how women are the backbone um, of society really. What another one that struck me was a pic this picture and it's a mother and child living in a hut made of um, iron with sugar bags and old new pa newspapers for bedding. So that was taken during the depression but look at the expression on the child's face as well, the baby. You know that's just so bleak, horrible. The husband would have been looking for his wife to, you know when he came home from work, probably looking for a hug a meal. God only knows what they ate. Well he wasn't working, he was looking for work. And then during the war we had the army nursing service. So this was taken in 1898 uh, during the Boer War. Um, here's another picture of another lady, Amy Johnson, who flew a gypsy moth biplane from England to Australia in 19 and a half days. These ladies are working in the munitions factory during the Second World War. Because Australia was so far away from the rest of the world during the war, like drugs were hard to come by, medications. So we've got an organisation here called CSIRA, which is a research and development type of company. And they decided to grow poppies. So the ladies were working in those fields while the husbands were away. We have our nurses. The Girl Guides, another one here of ladies working in a... Um, Oh, what's it called? A textile mill, that's right. So this is Catherine Helen Spence who was a pioneer of women's rights in Australia. Because women used to get paid way less than men for doing the same work. Uh, and this is the Flying Doctor which is another Australian iconic organisation. So these doctors fly out to remote locations. So that's the doctor there. That's the, that's the patient getting a needle. So. Yeah. so I thought I'd build my collage around some of these images. I need to have this lady because she's the one that started it all off for me. So I'm just cutting her out of the book and I'll give everything a bit of a trim up. I have some other textures and things I want to put into the collage. So this is a napkin that was sent to me by Franca. I actually sent her some of the napkins I used just recently because she didn't 
know where she could get them from and couldn't find them anywhere so I sent her some of mine and she sent me back a variety of napkins they're all beautiful but I thought this was a good one to put these black and white photos against a bit of baking paper that's a bit stained probably got a little bit of coffee on it and when I've been coffee dyeing other papers so I'm going to use them to make my collage and the first thing I need to do is trim up all my photos so um, I'm starting a new book so I don't know how this is going to hold up. The paper is not very heavy. I might have to glue two pages together so I'm going to make it a, a two page spread. I'm firstly going to cut out all my images and get them ready to go on the page. Okay, so I've cut out all my my images and I've fussy cut around them so they'll sit nicely when I mount them on the page and I've decided I will use a manila folder to make a flip out in this book. I'll stick it like that and it'll flip out because I didn't want to, you know, I just wanted to honour all of those women, not just some of them, but uh, I, I still can't put all of them in it. But anyway, this is going to be better. Bought a couple of books from the op shop this morning and I had a pa this packet of envelopes. It's quite a lot in there and I love the colour of them and so I had, they had no price on them so they just gave them to me that was a score so I thought what I'd do with the envelopes is you can't fit two together side by side on a page the two in the middle I'd join them together like that so that my images can sort of overlap a little bit although I don't want them to be folding too much and then put those envelopes something like that arrange them something like that maybe down here so that, that one will fold in and so I need to work out I've got all my bits and pieces here I sort of had them sorted into character uh, cate categories so that was the women working the farms then I've got the army nurses then I have the new nurses and I've got the flying doctor so I'll try to keep them together so that's Amy Johnson so she was the pilot and this lady was the women's rights lady this lady came over very early in the piece because her husband had been sent to Australia and then she couldn't find him when she got here anyway and this is a mother and child from the depression time so I could do it something like that then I did have another couple of images that I didn't think I'd be able to get in but I'm because I've got this fourth envelope I think I can fit these two in because they were the factory workers um, yeah, and this lady fought for higher pay for women back in the 1800s and these are women that were working uh, I think during the first world war by the look of the clothes they're wearing we're going to make them go in here because they will be with those ones these two sort of fit together these are all medical related. These ones are pioneering women, I suppose you call them. She was the first pilot. She flew the, the um, gypsy moth from England to Australia. And this lady was a pioneer of women's rights. So these photos are going to go on here. Let's quickly cut them out. There were lots of other photos that I could have put in as well, or images I should say, of um, women doing men's work but um, I'm not trying to sound like a, an activist or anything like that but um, I think women's strength is underrated okay so we can have that there maybe just cut this lady out she is actually welding petrol tanks I think that will work and then I've got my uh, pieces of napkin that I'll get in there and these as well so I need to work out how that will happen well that works well with those ones there because these are a bit narrower and that way I don't have any of my images actually going over that crease All right, let's get the backing off this hope you're having a good day hard to believe that uh, Oops, sorry. April's nearly finished. Our first day of winter is the 1st of June. So. But where I live here in um, Queensland, we really don't get a lot of winter. It gets a bit cool at night. 
um, but during the day the temperatures are still quite pleasant and you might start off with a jumper on and warmer clothes but especially if you go and you're out in the garden you'll end up stripping off part of your clothing as it gets a bit hot so I just want to make sure this is going to look nice I reckon yeah. I think I think it does look nice against that what I'm going to do with this is so I need to work out where I'm, I need to, to put the napkin so I'm just going to take all those images away again I love these envelopes they've got no brand on the outside of them it just says supporting the environment 100% recycled they had several pack you know like packages of them bundles that's what I meant but um, I didn't know I was going to get them for free otherwise I would have got more just going to seal them up okay so I was having two here and I think this is how it was going maybe that was up there and this one was down there oh, yeah, this is what happens I can't remember where I put things I think it was something like that okay so I need some for there out. Come back. I got the fan on. It's a little bit warm. Oh, this brush is so stiff. I thought I gave it a good clean out and had softened it up a bit the other day, but obviously I didn't. I'll put it over the edge so I'll tear the excess off. That goes there like that. That's going to cover up that. That's going to cover up that. And the next bit's got to go there. And if I just cut a piece off from that. I'm not sure what it is I like about this this um, napkin. That just appeals to me. And I think with the with these envelopes, they just, I don't know, I just think it looks really nice. So I thought, oh, I'm going to use it. Okay. So I need another bit there. And I'll probably put a, just a strip down the middle as well. So let's just get a piece down the middle. I think what I like about this, apart from the colours, it's because they're nice and um, neutral colours sort of thing, um, and quite organic looking, but it reminds me a bit of gel, gel printed papers, so that might be why I'm so attracted to it. So you'll just be able to see a little bit peeping out there and another bit down the bottom. Alright, so I'm going to glue down the envelopes. Uh, do I want to use the same paste? Probably. That one goes there. Get them in place and then I'll tidy them up. So that one's there. This little friend goes beside him. So I'm going to glue them down, glue them all down, and I'll, I'll, then I'll come back to you. So I've got them all stuck down. What I'm going to do is with the a couple of bits that are left over, I'm just going to glue them and the odd place like over the corners where the the envelopes overlap a little bit. I'm also going to put some stenciling on this. So I've got my gesso. I've got some stencils. I've got new stencils from PM Art Artist Studio. I haven't used yet. I can't wait to use them. So I ordered some and then they gave me a couple of freebies. 
which is awesome. I just think having the odd piece of this here and there will help tie everything together. I'll show you these stencils. So this is what I actually ordered and the first one is a set of um, 12 nestled circles they call them. So they're, they're masks for when you're when I'm doing my uh, gel printing. I'll just put them on there so you can see them better. There's various sizes. So one or two there. That's one. So you can position them wherever you like on your on your gel plate. So they were awesome. Love them. And the other one I ordered was this butterflies one, which is a mask again. So how adorable are those? So there's four different size butterflies. I um, can't, I just, oh five actually. Okay, I thought it was only four. Can't wait to use them. So that was the things I ordered. And then I got all these for free. So on the back here is a piece of jelly printed paper. I'll get it out later. And then I got these things. These are the extra extras. <laughs> this is what they do. I love it. So I've got this stencil. It's called Imperfectly Perfect Puzzle. I'm going to cut mine out of the border. Another little stencil. These two. I really love these two. As I do these ones too. There's another butterfly stencil in that bag. It's slightly different to the other ones. It's got the bits on the bottom and a different wing shape. So got that. Then there was this little print of that particular butterfly. Which is gorgeous. And then this one, which is on deli paper. That's another bigger version of the same butterfly. And that was all free in the back, in as extra, extra bits and pieces. So yeah, they're very generous. Very happy with them and can't wait to use them. I should use that butterfly. I reckon that'll look nice. I'll give it a go. These other little geometric ones are gorgeous. Okay, so let's open up the gesso. It's only meant to have a very thin layer of paint over it. Or ink maybe. Pop one down in the corner here. Don't put so much on the sponge. And slow. Nice and slow. Not a race. Fingers are sticking to it. Slow. <laughs> Doesn't that look nice? And on here, I reckon there's enough paint left in this. Oh, I'm so happy with the way they look. I'll just lift one up. I lift one. <laughs> lift it up so you can see one. Can you see the butterfly? I love that. Absolutely love it. And where else am I going to put one? Up here. They're probably going to be covered over by the, the um, photograph, the images, but I know they're there. And bits of them might stick out. So we'll see how we go. Yeah, so if you're ever looking for stencils, really 
quite reasonably priced I think for your jelly printing have a look at um, PM Artist Studios website I'll put a link to it down in my description box they're in the States in Texas but um, these ones I would have ordered them less than two weeks ago I'm pretty sure of it they get here so quickly for overseas Quite amazing. I'll just leave it for the with the butterflies at the moment. Perhaps do a bit more stenciling later on. Um, I've got some bubble wrap. I'd like to put some dots on there. Spread it onto the bubble wrap with that brush because I don't want them to be really overpowering. Is that the right side? I think so. Yeah, except there was a big squishy thing there. Okay. Just a couple. Quite faint. I love the look of the white on the brown. got my bits of this stamping paper. I'm just going to scrunch that up a little bit. I'm not sure how I'm going to use it yet. photos. I keep calling them photos, they're not photos, they're images. Okay, so on the left hand side I was going to have the oh, shaving cream. Just knocked a thing of coffee over. Oops. Cut. Oh, lucky I had bits of uh, absorbent paper around the place to get rid of that mess. But this is what's left of the, <laughs> the coffee. So I'm going to just splatter some of that onto my page as well. And I'll probably have to use my dryer on this, I think. dynamic ones. Yeah. Okay. That'll do. I'll put it back where it was when I knocked it over so I can knock it over again. And just dry that off. Oh, that's dry. And I'm just going to put some stamping on this text stamp with this gold, lovely gold, in a few different places. It's probably going to disappear behind everything, but it's alright. I just think it looks nice that it's there. It's starting to get a little bit dark. In here, I think. Might have to turn the light on. Well, that would be the sensible thing to do anyway. <laughs> Whether I do or not, it's another story. Can't be too sensible. Get a bad reputation. Okay. Right. Now, back to my pieces. So I've got all my little bits of that. So she was going on there somewhere in the first bit. Yeah, that's her. Um, this one was my first. So she's there somewhere. I've got my flying doctor. I've got my nurse and I've got my army nurses.
it was sort of how I was thinking of putting it together. It looks a bit busy. That's why I wanted to put some bits of this underneath. Maybe put her little spiel down there. Stick that there. These ones. And that one definitely needs something above it. There they stand out from the napkin a bit better. Put that there. You can still see the napkin. This lady, she needs something behind her there. So it's mainly the ones that are on the napkin, I think, need to have something above them. Something like that. Is it looking a bit disjointed? Looks a bit all over the place, doesn't it? I'd like to try and keep these together in a bit, bit of a fashion. Maybe I should just stay away from that and put her there. Those ones there like that, that's fine. Okay, I think I should glue, start gluing some of this down and then I can do my other decorating around it. And I, I don't know if I mentioned this, but I'm, I'm thinking I might stitch around that with the sewing machine, but I'll glue it all down first. Oh, everything is stuck down. I think I would like to try and stencil a couple more of those butterflies in a few different places. I forgot to ink around the bits here. That's annoying. I did did actually find the stenciling brush though. So maybe this will work better. Too fast again, aren't I? Going too fast. Oh, that looks nice. Looks real nice. Now up here. There, I think. Nice and slow. Slower anyway. No, don't cover her face up. God, I feel sorry for that lady. Imagine doing that. Commit a crime, which probably stole an apple or something, just so she could get deported to Australia, and then she, to be with a husband that she can't find when she gets gets here is never seen again. So sad. Wonder what she actually, like, what happened to her. I think I'll get a pen and draw around the edge of those those things because the little words because I was going to gotta be really careful yeah I think that looks nice okay I'm gonna do the rest of them so I won't make you watch I'll come back when it's finished so I have done the gold around the, the little notes there and I decided to put this string you can see just a glue string across the page I saw Mariah doing something like this but she was gluing on onto a uh, you know like a printed piece of paper where I'm just trailing mine around all over the place so thanks for that idea Mariah I just thought it um, sort of like a tangle, a tangled history and tangle of string. I don't know. That is where I was going with it. I have to glue it down in a few more places. It's really quite tedious to do. So, like I keep putting the string down and then accidentally pulling it up again. I started off up here and I was doing it, you know, like thinking about what I was doing and then. I'd pulled out some extra string off the roll and just let it fall on the page and I thought, oh, I like the way it's actually looping around itself and all that sort of thing without me doing anything with it, so I thought I'd leave it like that. It 
it's, oh, it's so hard not to pull it up after you glue it down. You can see this sticking to my finger or I've been using tweezers and it sticks to the tweezers. The labour of love. <laughs> I think this is the last little bit of it. I want to put some words on here as well. I'm not sure whether I want to sew around it anymore. I, I might have changed my mind about that. We'll see. There's probably a lot of places that yeah, so it's not stuck down because I've been trying to tack it down and then come back and glue it properly because I was just getting so messy with the glue. I left it for a while and helped help my husband find his missing keys. Oh, he found them, but I helped. I haven't got any on the old lady. I'm going to leave that for the time being. Do something else. I could always find the words. I'm just going to paint underneath in a couple of places with some coffee. Uh, mainly where these straight edges are, just so that it looks like a bit of a shadow. I'm not sure about the string now whether I should have done that or not. Just gonna colour that bit there just to see what happens. I'm not ripping it off now though. Maybe maybe it's better if it's got a bit of coffee on it. Perhaps just in a few different places. I think as you can drop the um, just touch the string with the coffee and it spreads along. Just putting it at the intersections to see how that looks. It is quite a grungy sort of um, collage. It was grungy times too. I think I want to splatter some white on that. It's printed off some words so I'll, um, do some slattering and then I'll stick my words on. I, I did have some but they were too big. I wanted and they were all different sizes and fonts you know so I want them to be the same you know uniform looking. white ink looks really nice on that blue um, napkin. I don't know whether it'll stay like that though. Sometimes it, when you're putting it on a napkin it um, soaks in, vanishes. I might just carry that ink around the edge. I might. I am carrying it around the edge. <coughs> Excuse me. just sets it off. I was going to stitch around it with the sewing machine. Um, I don't know about that now. Okay, I like the way that looks. I just thought I'd try this. I'm not sure how much I'll do and whether I like it. Well, there's a couple of places where I think it would benefit from a bit of white 
around the edge of the image. Oh, it's not going to work on that because that's um, baking paper and that's the non-stick side. <laughs> the other side's glued down. And if I just put a few touches here and there. I think this lady needs something around her, but I've got, I've got baking powder on, uh, baking powder, baking paper underneath her, so it's going to be pretty hard to outline her with ink or anything. But maybe if I get, if I get something black, let me just see a couple of different things to try. I'll do this one first. that'll dry. It looks better. Poor old darling. Just a bit of colour. So I've got my purple gold. It might be what this lady needs is this purple around her. Just to lift her off the page a little bit because she she was the reason that I well her image was the reason that I d chose to do this collage the way I'm doing it so um, she got a little bit lost amongst all the others it needs to come over a little bit further it's a bit unbalanced I'm not sure that it actually needs too much more. Maybe just a couple of little bits of purple here and there. She needs purple. Um, I don't want to put too much there though. Just a little touch. the tiniest little dot of paint on the brush. I feel the need to put some gold splatters on it. I've got my trusty old watercolours. I should go for this this gold this time I think. Just to be careful, I don't want to cover up put gold on pieces I don't want it to be. Sometimes it's just easier to place the... All I need to do now is get my words and stick them on. So I'll just go and get them. And I have glued on my little words. So I've got love, hope, compassion, <coughs> clearing, clearing, caring, vision, determination and strength. Down in this bottom section, I'm going to put this so the power of women is not to be underestimated. When others cannot carry the burden, they carry on. They are strong for everyone. I feel like bursting out into a Helen Reddy song. I'm just going to glue that down. The only thing I might do is um, I'll just go around in a few places and put some little highlights. Yeah. Just here and there, squiggles and things. Just for the heck of it. The glue's not gluing today. Her hat has sort of got lost. I'll just 
draw the edge of that in. These ladies up here need something around them. Nurses' get ups have changed these days, you know, from back in those days, the veils and everything. scrubs these days. I feel like I'm drawing some hair on that poor child's head. The flying doctor, she got she got wiped out by some gesso. I didn't realise I was stenciling over the top of her her face. Well yeah, she was side on to the camera so you couldn't really see much of her face. But now you can't see any of it. Let's put the slightest little hint of gold on this. Oopsie. That's a bit more than I wanted. Okay. I think I'll call that done. Don't forget. Wednesday is um, our, no it's not, oh yes it is, yeah, okay so the um, collage challenge, the 2022 collage challenge for May is this Wednesday, so Wednesday is the day to put up your video or any day after Wednesday is fine, today is the 30th of April 2022 Um, I've got a tiny little version of this that I'll just glue in somewhere, but I'm just going to leave it as it is for now. I think. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to change anything. So that's going to be stuck in the book. That page will be stuck in. That page you'll open out. Well, that's somewhere where I can stick my prompts on that side of the paper. So I'll show you. This is my first lady. Then I've got my nurses down in this column. Flying doctor. The lady from the depression camp. Then we've got the women's rights fighter. We've got the pilot. And up the top we've got the girls, the land girls they were called. There was actually um, this a uh, story about them on TV a couple of weeks ago on a show called Landline and the ladies who worked in the factory during the war making the munitions welding and packing um, yeah that's just a coincidence I didn't even think about this when I was um, you know about the show I mean when I was making my mind up what to do with this so just complete coincidence okay that's it for me make sure you check out what Julie does she always does a fantastic collage makes a story up to go with her collage and has, works on a theme and um, she's just so meticulous and puts so much detail into everything it's amazing so check her her video link to her channel will be in my um, description box also a link to Marguerite Miller's channel and her Etsy shop. So if you want to join in, you can download the prompts and take part in the challenge. Okay, so that's it for me for now. So remember that creativity is contagious. Pass it on. Be kinder than you need to be. I'll see you in the next video. So cheers from Australia. Hooroo!